During Jesus' ministry, he taught in public places, performed many miracles, and proclaimed God's truth with great power and conviction. Many people loved him. Others hated him. Some people recognized his power and the mighty wisdom through which he taught, but could not reconcile his message with their tradition. One such person was Nicodemus. Nicodemus was a leader of the Jews. People respected Nicodemus for his great knowledge of the law, his strict behavior, and his great wisdom. He heard of Jesus and was very interested in his teaching. But he had a lot of unanswered questions. The Pharisees were part of the religious leadership of the day. Many of them found their worth in the strict observance of the law. Most of them did not agree with Jesus, while some, like Nicodemus, could not dismiss Jesus' great power and wisdom. Daily, as Jesus taught in public places, the Pharisees came to listen. They asked Jesus a lot of questions, many trick questions, but could never find any fault with him. Nicodemus wanted to speak with Jesus, but because he was a Pharisee, he had to be careful not to be seen with Jesus in broad daylight. He had to find a special time to meet with him. Late one night, guided by the light of the stars and moon, Nicodemus found his way through the dark streets of the city to the place where Jesus was staying. He had a lot of questions about the law, about Jesus' teaching, and about Jesus himself. Jesus was prepared to explain to Nicodemus everything he needed to know. That night, Nicodemus would leave a changed man. Jesus explained to Nicodemus that he could not inherit God's kingdom if he was not born again. Born again? Nicodemus was confused. What did this mean? It's impossible for a grown man to become a baby and be born again. Nicodemus answered. But Jesus was not talking about becoming a baby. He was talking about a life change so dramatic, so radical, and so new that it would be like being born again. Unless one is born of water and the Spirit, Jesus explained, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Nicodemus began to understand but he was still confused. How can this be? He asked Jesus, trying to wrap his mind around it. Jesus knew that Nicodemus was having a hard time believing him. If you're having a hard time believing earthly things, it will be very hard for you to believe heavenly things. But you must believe. I am the Messiah. I have come to give people eternal life. The truth began to dawn upon Nicodemus. Jesus was the Messiah. Jesus' mission was to give a new life. Jesus spoke the truth to Nicodemus patiently and clearly. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Jesus also told Nicodemus, that he came not to condemn the world, but that the world would be saved through him. For Nicodemus, the prophecies in Scripture had come true. The Messiah was standing in front of him. What a wonderful revelation! That day, Nicodemus learned about God's love, about eternal life. He believed and found his place in the kingdom of God.